Hello everyone, my name is Domino. No, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. So, we're here in the demon ruins, and I'm attempting to remember what the actual important pathway in here is. It's in here somewhere, I'm sure of it. I say, well, I get stuck at a wall. Please stop that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for that native song, but I'm... I'm okay. So, over here... Over here... We have more Gru. Wah. These guys do seem much more interested in fire than... Poison, but I guess... You could interpret that as... Fire is their natural sort of affair, and poison is just something they've gained. I mean, these guys do seem to be sort of embered up the same way I am. So, I guess it's entirely possible these guys used to be, used to live down here and then sort of evacuated. Maybe they're a later uh, demon mutation. But if demons are a dying race, that's that really. Now, this is interesting because this corpse is very clearly bowing to this big one of these, who seems to be growing into the side. I'm not sure if he's sort of stuck in the roots or if maybe he's one with them, but this, the horns do seem pretty root-like. So, hmm, perhaps that's part of the origin of these guys. Isolith Pyromancy Tome. I believe that's, yeah, the Chaos Pyromancies, like my Chaos Storm and Fireball came from this in my first new game. A pyromancy tome from Isolith containing pyromancies of the witches. Give to the old master pyromancer to learn chaos pyromancies of Isolith. Chaos pyromancies manipulate lava and birthed all later forms of pyromancy. So, that's pretty interesting. Uh, I don't think that there's anything else down here. If there were illusory walls in this room, I think I'd remember it, and I'd also think there would be messages. Yeah. Hmm. No, I think we're good for that. So let's backtrack a bit, and we came through here, so let's go this way. I don't think there are any bosses down here, other than the old Demon King who we already beat. Which is interesting, really, we've, from this perspective. The idea that the, um, the boss would be at the start of the zone. A Chaos Gem. The chaos infusions. Now, um, I feel like there's an illusory wall here somewhere. 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 I'm almost positive that there's one around. Um, and skip to finding the wall. <laughs> Alright, I've knocked the piss out of every wall in this corridor, and I don't actually... Perhaps I'm mistaken. Or at the very least, I can't find shit. Oh, that one's very clearly an illusory wall. Look at it, for God's sake. Okay, so... If that connects back to this, then this should be... Yes, a big old corridor full of lava slime. And back out here it takes us back downstairs. Bah. For now, let's check out the lava corridor. I think there's a, uh, like an Estus shard or something here. Yes, there is. Exactly that, in fact. Make a sick jump. Good job, me. Please stop doing that. Let's pick that up and ignore this. And then let's drop down here because I feel like we actually... Ow! Ow! I feel like we should be down here for something in a minute. Or at the very least closer to the, um, the, uh, ground outside with the other fireball buggers. Uh, let's see, this part is... right. So this is the space where we came in... yeah, we came in, uh, that way, didn't we? Last time around, I think. Yeah, I think we came in through that way and then stayed right, so 
Going left and out, leaving alone use, should take us back out here to these dudes. Front stab. Da -na -na -da -na. Man and machine, power extreme. 20 points to anyone who gets that reference. There's an item here, it's an ember, riveting. Is this an illusory? Nope. Do -do 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 -do. Right, so this should go back out. Where is this? Here. Ah, so that's just the connection to that bit. So up here is this bonfire again. Ah. Okay, now you're starting to see why I get confused in this place. You're probably all navigational geniuses who are telling me how dumb I am right now, so I apologize. But let's see. There's living guys this way, so it's probably out here, logically. Go away. Now, last time around we came in the opposite side, so this should go back out into the... Back out into the, um... The main room. Yes, there we are. Yes? Oh, no, this is where the uh, Black Knight is. And he is not a one-and-done enemy, which is interesting. Right. Ah, yes. This bit, and then we need to go this way. We can ignore all those fireballs and the fireball shooters. Because over here is a rat. The true threat. Now, straight along here, there should be a drop. Yes, which we don't want to fall in, because it's obviously full of lava. You can see that from there. It might be possible to jump it, but I don't particularly want to try and end up getting annihilated, because this way is the way that I'm used to going. Dilly-doo. Skibbly-boobly-pap. Illusory wall ahead. Yes, there is, in fact. I've really got to stop being hit by rats. And then, yep, this is an illusory wall which connects out there. But first of all, what's this way? This bit should be connected to that part of the space with the hole, yep, which means there's a path down here. Where does this go? This connects to this stuff, which is above where that illusory we are, yeah, right. So there's, there's a lot of illusory walls in this zone. There might be more in the other zones that I'm just not aware of, to be honest, but I am aware that there's a bunch in this place. So for now, yes, here is another hole. There's a hole here, it's not gone, and it won't be gone for a while, and there's more and more rats down there, yay. But for now, let's have a look over here, at this big horrible spidery egg mass. Friend. Indeed, the Quailana Pyromancy Tome. A Pyromancy Tome of Quailana containing her unique spells. These pyromancies can only be taught by a female master. Give to a female pyromancy master to learn Quailana's pyromancies. Quailana, the sole surviving witch of Isolith, once accepted a human pupil, but after the pupil moved on, she never took another. So Quailana is from the Dark Souls of One uh, world, and we could have found her, to be honest, in the playthrough uh, we did for uh, Dark Souls One. But you need to meet the criteria. You need, I think, a certain level of upgraded pyromancy flame, I think, and she can be found in uh, the Blight Town Swamp before you get to Quailarg's boss fight area. And given, like, the, her, her, she was a regular human, and since this is presumably her corpse next to this, we can assume that this big spidery mass was at one point the Fair Lady, which would imply that this is straight up built around the ruins of Blight Town, possibly. Or, like, if, it, if it's built on Isolith, Blight Town was built on Isolith, so that would make this geographically like up there, Carthus would be built on Blight Town, which would put this in Lordron. Now, whether or not that's actually accurate is not only debatable, but it is also probably completely inaccurate. But that's what I glean from this. So in here, look, lava, how much does that damage you? Quite a lot. In a few seconds. Well, that was about half a second, and it took out that. So trying to get those items is doable, and I have both of them in my uh, item boxes and whatnot somewhere. But for now, we're going to move on with our lives. Uh, you, you like, you know, again, I, I have them already. You can go get them, like, by stacking fire resistance gear and rings and uh, anti-flame damage pyromancies. But for me personally right now, ow. I feel more inclined to just survive this rat attack. 
Thank you, fire. Right now, let's see. There's another one over here. For no reason other than that he didn't aggro. Voodoo. And let's see. There's a chest here, and this is a real chest. You can tell immediately by the chain. And in it is some large shine jars. That's nice. But also here is another illusory wall. Ah, how bullshit is that? Right behind the chest. Ah. And oh look, it's our best friends in the entire universe. Fucking. Fucking, uh, oh, an isolate stuff, thanks. Fucking basilisks. Fuck you. Stop cursing me, please. Ah, shit, 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 fuck, shit, fuck, ah, fuck. That is a, it is an instant kill, once again. Go away. Whew, that was close. <laughs> Bloody things. They're a menace to this world. Uh, I think I'm going to let the curse... I'm going to let that bar simmer down for a minute, so let's just wait for that. Alright, sorry about that, but, uh, you know, I don't want to be horribly killed down here. All things considered. If I can avoid it. I hate basilisks. They are the worst. A Titanite scale, holy shit. Oh, that was off of the uh, corpse. <laughs> uh, I, there might be more items to find over there, but I know that the path the path needed to be travelled over here is this way. So... Uh, I really don't want to have to do this. This gave me so much trouble on regular new game. Be wary of frame rate. <laughs> be wary of tough enemy, yes. Say hello to Night Slayer Sorig. Now, I believe he could have invaded us at some point earlier, but we actually, um, ouch, fucking hell. The damage. We actually managed to avoid that for reasons. We were either, uh, not embered at the time or something. So, Sorig is really, 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 really mean. And he is actually, he actually wears the the armor of Black Iron Tarkas, and he uses the, um, the same Great Shield, but that, oh, well, that's irritating. Server connection lost. Let's get back to the game, shall we? Ah, fucking hell, we immediately started next to Sorig. And he got all of his health back, so that's nice. Oh, where's my roll? Oh, for fuck's sake. So, Sorig is the epitome of a fucking irritating, shitty PvP greatsword build because, you know, we love fighting those, don't we? I'm going to spam fire because it works for me. Jerk. But yeah, so Sorig invades invades you at several points in the game, but for some reason we didn't see him. I guess I just guess we weren't embered at the time, so didn't show up for us. Now he gave me a shit ton of trouble trying to kill him with pure melee in the in the regular new game, but fortunately it seems the wonders of pyromancy are prevailing in this fight. Fuck you, Sorig. Fuck you, Sorig. Yeah, fuck you, die. Ha ha ha, get wrecked. So, yes, trying to melee him is a exercise in absolute horrible pain. And he dropped the few Ultra Greatsword, the Black Iron Great Shield, and the Night Slayer's Ring. Now, down there in the lava pit, there are, I believe, more items that you need uh, the fire resistance to pick up. But for now, let's have a look at that stuff. Because it seems to be taken from a lot of different places. The Night Slayer's Ring. Ring of the Savage Sorig, more commonly known as the Night Slayer. Enemies lose more stamina when guarding attacks. Long ago, Sorig engaged the guardians of an ancient city in a bloody confrontation and returned with their rings as his prize, still frozen on their dismembered fingers. So, we didn't get a great look in uh, the Dark Souls 2 playthrough, but this is actually the same icon and the same uh, effect as a ring that you can find in the Laeum Lois DLC. Uh, the, um, I don't know, it's maybe, it's called, called like the Lois ring or something. I can't remember what it's called. But it's the same icon, does the same effect, and this implies that Sorig actually went to Alayam Lois at some point and had a scrap with the 
the golems and the guardians, the uh, hollows there, and took these rings for funsies. Uh, what else? He dropped the shield and the sword, didn't he? Sword there, shield first. Great shield made of black iron, deeply feared for its association with Night Slayer Sorek. Black iron offers high defense and spit the events of warding off fire. So, that's the uh, shield used by um, Black Iron Tarkus in uh, Dark Souls 1. He appears for the Iron Golem boss fight. And you can find his armor near the painted world of Ariamis portrait. And the sword. This twisted sword, the heaviest of all ultra great swords, resembles Black Slate. This weapon, said to have belonged to a traitor from long ago, was so heavy that it found no owner and became a forgotten relic of history. So, yeah, that's the Fume Knight's great sword, which you can get from his uh, soul. So, that implies that Sorig also went through the uh, Old Iron Keep, as well as possibly at some point uh, Sen's Fortress or Anor Londo. Which is very, very interesting to me. And possibly only to me. <laughs> but down here we find another Black Knight on a precarious bridge over lava. Fantastic. Hey, buddy, pal, fellow, chap. Blah. Now, I believe I can parry you, can't I? Yes. <clears throat> I have a fair bit of practice parrying Black Knights from farming the one in, um, in the... Uh, the Farron Keep Swamp. That didn't quite work, but didn't kill me either, so that's fine. That failed as well. <laughs> I have experience doing this, and then I immediately failed to do it twice. Oh well, your damage actually wasn't that terrible, so thank goodness. Now, interestingly, the Black Knights aren't one and done enemies in this. Soul of a Champion. I wonder that these have anything interesting to say. No, just the same thing there. Use enough souls to sate a lord found in the corpse of a champion of legend. So yeah, I've never seen any of these proud paladin, intrepid hero, champion level souls. Or at least I don't remember seeing them in the new game. So these must be new game plus, like upgrades, so that you're constantly getting better. Which I guess in players I should probably be leveling up, but I haven't been. I don't know, maybe maybe I'll think about it. Maybe I'll ask for some advice and think about it. But uh, for now, let's climb a ladder and see if we can't actually get through the part of this zone which is relevant to the reason I came down here in the first place. <coughs> Instead of checking out the cool stuff in Irithyll. Now, first things first, is it here? Uh, no, it's above this one. Because there's, there's a little drop. Yeah, there we go. That has an item which we should pick up for funsies. Clue. Be sure not to miss it. The Dragon Rider bow. Now that's actually from um, Dark Souls 2, isn't it? Yeah, the Dragon Rider bow. Long bow of the Dragon Riders who served the old King of Want. Yeah, King Vendrick's uh, Dragon Riders. The Dragon Riders were the old King's rule guard and great strength were just demanded of them. Merely drawing this bow calls for inhuman strength. The worthy few who can master this bow, however, use it to devastating effect. So that is a great bow, and great bows uh, only shoot great arrows, and great arrows have much bigger damage, and also a good deal of knockback effect. Like, they're quite horrible in PvP for being able to knock people off of ledges and stuff. I think I mentioned in, um, in uh, the Catacombs that it was quite possible to shoot people off of the side with them. So, out here we find this bloody place. Which is connected to the where the blister is. Ha 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 ha, we found you, you big nerd. So yes, we've actually gone all the way down through that stuff and found ourselves back up here. Excellent use of geography. That's 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 what was missing from Dark Souls 2, was building the world instead of building levels in it. Now, around here we can find some skellies and some wheel skellies. Let's see if we can make a really good deal with these guys first. I don't know if the, um... Oh, that was a blood stain. I thought it was an item. I don't know if the wheels here will f follow us, like, up into this place if we go ahead without them. But I'm not particularly interested in finding out, so... I love the way they just sort of crumble. Bonk. Interception. Yeah, wheel skeletons are at their absolute most dangerous in Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 2 
I think probably had wheel skellies, but I don't think they were very... They're not very memorable if they were. Hmm. And in Dark Souls 3, they're... They roll for longer, but they don't track nearly as much, so... It's not that terrible. Now, around this corner, there are a couple of these dudes. So let's pull one. Oh, bloody hell, that was a big old jump on it. But I have the power of staggering. Please give me my stamina back, I don't want to die. That was dangerous. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hooray. <laughs> that was close. I would have really annoyed I would have been really annoyed if I died there. That would have been absolutely infuriating. Why would it have been infuriating? Because the bonfire was a while ago, wasn't it? And I'm fairly, you know, I'm fairly sure one of these guys actually killed me in my original new game, and I had to make that run again. Was not fun. But then I also had massive problems with, um, Sorig. He beat the shit out of me pretty badly for a while. Because I didn't have the power of pyromancy in my regular new game. I have added it purely to new game plus for some additional combat tactics. Gotcha. Alright, so, up here we can find out that this ballista, by all accounts, seems to just be a massive, massive siege weapon that is purely automated. And we can now turn it off. Like, I have no idea how something that runs on gears is able to determine friend or foe and then shoot at them. But, magic, I guess, whatever. Uh, being you know, I should probably re-equip my swords since we're getting out of this area now. But uh, yeah, the ballista is now off. And by the looks of it, the giants were used to bring it up here. Sadness. And, uh, but uh, yeah, that's the route you need to take. That's the path to this ballista. That's the path to turning it off. And there's an item around the side here. The Bloodbite Ring Plus One. You probably won't find that on regular New Game. Well, no, I know for a fact you won't find that on regular New Game, but there might be an item here for standard. Uh, those little stairs down there will drop you back down to that space, which allow you to go back through that way. Uh, there are there are items and things to find down in the lake still that we didn't get, but I'm not very interested in getting them because I've got them all before. And with that done, we can now start making progress to Irithyll. Huzzah! Fantastic. Start making a soul of an old hand. What does that mean? Of an old hand at war. What? A hand at war? Is that a term? Like a master at arms? Kind of thing? I, I don't know. Ooh. Spooky ghost. Spooky ghost in Outrider Night Gear. Spooky Outrider Night Ghosts. And also some jerks. So somebody's gargling over here. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Oh, but now this dude's noticed us. So these guys attack very quickly, but they have next to no poise. And the safe thing to do is to just lay into them consistently and thoroughly. That looks like an evangelist locked up over here. Doesn't open from this side. Okay, I get it, lady. Uh, now, let's see. That one's got a shield. Goodness. He's a step up from the rest. However, there is also another one I remember around that corner. So let's try and pull this one first. While he just pulls out humanity from his mouth and barfs it at us. I don't suppose you want to actually come fight me, do you? What does my... What, if, what does fire do to you guys? ba that was quite a bit through your armor. Ooh. There comes the other one. So yeah, these guys can do quite a lot of damage if you let them get their attacks off. So your best bet is to just fucking get in there and mulch them. Ow. See what I mean? 
you, nerd. Ow, bloody hell. So yeah, that's an even better example of what I meant when I said that. You need to be able to hit them out of that shit. Damn it. <laughs> Zoro. Zoro, please, do you mind, Zoro? Zoro. Uh, well, at least we're not too far into the area yet. The Pontiff Knight Crown. Uh, I'll, I'll read that once we're done with Dark Spirit. And, oh good, he's got the fucking lightning axe. Fantastic. Why not, I guess. So he's probably gonna murder me because he's very clearly just fucking a PvP gank motherfucker. He's using a parry shield and the Sastus, so that's great. Yep, that's fantastic. Appreciate it. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Fucking crap. Good job, Zoro. Yeah, I guess. God damn it. <laughs> Let's get back to that space, shall we? Alright, so sadly on my way back up here I did die and lose all my souls, so that's lovely. Thanks, Zoro, you fuck. Oh, well, whatever. No point being better about it. It's not like I was going to level up with them anyway. So, some extra guys here. They are slow and pretty weak, but they do do quite a lot of damage, so... Just be aware of that. And over here, bonus guys, fantastic. So, so far in this area we've seen three enemy types. Is he walking backwards? <laughs> what a strange, strange thing. So we've got the regular knights, we've got these weird the hollow bastards, and we've got these very tall buggers carrying burning crosses, which is, uh, Questionable in today's. Wow, fucking hell. So these guys are pyromancers. They're pretty tough, by all accounts. Assuming, you, you know, let them beat you up from a distance. Fire Witch Gauntlets. So they are the Fire Witches. Can we learn anything about you from this? Possibly. Gauntlets of witches who bore the profaned flame are now harrowed spirits of Irithyll. The witches who lead the Pontiff's knights were originally ordained as holy knights. It was not long, however, before their hearts were swallowed by the profaned flame. So the profaned flame, you might be inclined to think that that's, um, like the chaos flame, but we've already seen that the chaos is burned out as of this particular time period. And the profaned flame is something else entirely, which when is not 100% clear like so many things in Dark Souls. Um, but whatever it is, it's apparently part of it is kept in their stars, used to cast their spells, and it's capable of corrupting people for reasons. So, just be aware that that's what's up with that. Ow! Ow! Jerk. No, keep doing that, that's fine. I'll just shoot you in the crotch until you die. Yeah, keep doing that, it's fine. Wah. Wah. Will you just die already, please? Ta da! I win! Your fire is no match for my arrows. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, losing all my souls, despite not being particularly important, has put me in a bit of a sour mood. Um, Alright. Oh, I didn't read the Pontiff Knight thing, did I? Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Ah, uh, here it is. 
crown of the Pontus Knights, now Harrod's Spirit of Irithyll. The golden crown signifies those who report directly to Sullivan. The knights were his watchful eyes and would needed his punitive blades. Okay, so I'm sure he's a lovely fellow. Ow. Oh, bloody hell, that was awful. No, fuck off. So you can see how these guys can quite easily murder you inside seconds. Fuck off. Ain't no move for you. However, in exchange for that, you can also murder them in seconds. Bastards. Fuck you. That was delayed as shit. Kick. Punch. It's all in the mind. Or in this case, the dick. But, uh, whatever. I'm fairly sure there's a bonfire up here somewhere. Did that guy drop anything? The dude who was up here? Doesn't look like it. Is there an item here, though? Yes, there is. Hooray. Large Titanite Shard. Meh. So Irithyll's one of those places that's pretty... Not necessarily big, but comprises a lot of complex overarching pathways. Let's remove this from the equation. And I believe... Oh, thank you. Yes, down there is a uh, angry lady. And here is a very strange illusory wall. Buddy, I'm like here. You don't need to attack the air. Ta-da. Two can play your games. So here's an ambush. And then down this way. Now, bear in mind, if you come down here, you will have to run the entire way back up because there's no way back up from here. Uh, we... You know what, we, we're going to. I'll just... I can cut it for you guys. For now, though, let's have a look-see. Hey, lady. Have you heard of our Lord and Saviour, Fire? Uh-oh, I ran out. So she is just a... Ow. Uh, an, evan an evangelist, by all accounts. And I fucking got killed! I'm some kind of idiot. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's get back to this. Hooray, we're here again, and this time I'm going to open this door first. Because that would have been the smart thing to do originally. A witch tree branch, I believe that's a... Uh, sorcery stuff. Based on the stuff from... Uh, what's it called? You know that place. Uh, Elaeum Lois, the witch trees over there. Fuck you, lady. You're much less scary the second time around. Doris Noing. So that's a miracle, I believe. Yes, summon great insect swarm to feast on foes. Miracle of Doris the deranged evangelist. Summons great insect swarm to feast on foes. Those who linger too long on the brink of the deep will often slip. Doris is sure to have wallowed in this darkness, intoxicated by its peril. So yes, she's an evangelist from the Cathedral of the Deep, but apparently she got a little too deep. Yeah, back to progress. And we're gonna have to fight these two again. Did I do? If I'm lucky though, I've just pulled one without the other. Maybe? No? Is he stuck on that guy? Pathing wise? Yes, I guess so. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, 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 not again. Not again. I refuse. Unacceptable. going. Right then, one, and now two. God, these guys are such pains in the ass. Ow, I went for the kick, and he just murdered me instead. Great. Oh well. They're dead now, it's fine. Alright, so there's stuff that way, but there's a bonfire to the left. And these spooky ghosts are interesting, because they seem to be dressed like the Outrider Knights, so presumably they're the souls of the snappies before they were snappy. I wonder how many of them actually turn out snappy because we found one of them, well, we found a couple of them that were uh, sort of just vicious, like Vort and um, what's his face? Uh, that other one, Soul of an Old Hand again. So there's another Fire Witch. 
this stuff there. I don't think I can open that door from here. Not this side, anyway. I mean, might as well find out. Yeah, it doesn't matter from this side. So for now, I guess let's just run away from that, because I know for a fact there's a bonfire around this side somewhere. Uh, yes, it's in here. Yes, it is. Hooray, thank goodness. Oh, hello. Henry. Buddy, friendo. Oh, I thought it might be you. Good to see you. Hello. I never managed to find Horace. We never saw him either. But my duty must be done, even alone, as an unkindled Lord Seeker. That is our role. For the children I knew, bless their souls. I've never ever seen a child in Dark Souls. We all have our reasons, don't we? I guess. Please Mine is the sick loot. Take this. Recompense for my foolish request. Oh. And also a token of protection. May the flames guide your way. Thank you. So he gives you the ring of the evil eye at this point. Ah, you are brave indeed to face your duty alone. Well, I try. I do well to learn from you. Yeah. May the flames guide your way. That everything? Ah, I'll make yes. It. Cool. Okay. So that's that. Let's just read that. The ring's item description. Plus one says the same, doesn't it? Yeah. This ring captured the foul spirit of an evil eye, a creature that ravages Stora. The horrid spirit nearly destroyed Astora, but was eventually defeated by the Sword of One Most Noble. So it's unclear as to what exactly that means, or who that might have been, because there was never only a creature in any of the other Souls games like that. But, you know, there are many ambiguous legends and stuff. But for now, we're done. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.